In this video, we're going to talk about prepping a sequence for an audio mixer. So we're going to say I'm prepping this one 1 1.7. I just went ahead and duplicated the sequence, added AAF to the end of it, and I have that open at the base here. So I'm you're going to have to bear with me. I'm holding a microphone with one hand here. <laughs> so I'm going to lock all my audio tracks and select everything in the video layers and just immediately get rid of that. Uh, if you're doing things that are to time, you're gonna wanna make sure that your spot is to time. This is a trailer, so it's not. My content starts at one and it goes to 1.30.12. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my audio layers now. And then I'm going to highlight all of my audio tracks so that they're all active. And then at this point, you're going to have to just go through and sort out your different pieces so that you start with VO on the top, sound effects are going to be in the middle, and then music is going to be your last layer. So this is the music track. If I just select that and then I actually have a shortcut to select all tracks that are or select all instances of the same media. And then I'm going to just pull that down a few layers to separate it out because I know that's going to be my last track. Then I can go in, I can highlight what I pretty much know is all the sound effects. This is a pretty clean edit and move those down. And then I like to go through and check by just soloing out that first track and making sure that everything is either VO or character dialogue there. If you do have a lot of VO, people like to separate that out from character dialogue. I happen to know that this doesn't have any VO in it, so I'm just doing character dialogue on that first track. Punching in. Kind of see that that looks like another dialogue take. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that back up. If I was going through this for real, I would pull everything in there and then just play the whole thing down, making sure that everything in that track was dialogue and then muting it and making sure that no dialogue had slipped through in any of the other tracks. I happen to recognize this is not dialogue, so I'm going to pull that out onto the next track. So since we were able to put all of our dialogue on track one, I'm going to start sound effects on track two here. And then just kind of try and clean these up. So you can see there's a pod here. We can move that up a bit. Pod here, we can move this up. And the goal here is just to try and make as few tracks as possible. Grab these, move that all up. And then once we have everything kind of compressed as much as we can, we'll pull that song back down so that it lives on that last track. Now you're going to want to add a two pop before kicking this out. I'm just adding HD bars and tone. Defaults are fine for that. Just make it one frame long and set my playhead to 59.58. Insert edit that and get rid of the video. And then you'll have your two pop on 5958. 
and then the spot actually starts on one, but my first sound is until 102. So once you have that all set, make sure that all your tracks are enabled and then sequence, delete tracks, all audio tracks, all video tracks, and you'll have a simplified sequence that you can export. So I like to save at this point. And then you're gonna go file, export, AAF. Go ahead and break out to mono so that you can embed your audio files within the AAF instead of it just being a project file. I like to not render audio clip effects so that the mixer has more to work with, but depending on your workflow, you might wanna enable that. Sample rate 48 and 16, that's what the sequence is set at. I have it set to embed audio files. And then I don't wanna actually grab the complete audio file, so I just do trim audio files and use 24 frame handles. It'll ask you where you want the job to go. I'm just gonna put this to my desktop. And then you'll get this window that'll kind of sort through it, depending on how big the project is. It could take a few minutes. And that is how you create an AAF. Now, I would suggest exporting the original video as a reference for your mixer. Uh, in this case, I don't have rights to show the footage, so I'm not gonna show that for this one. But when you do that, I would suggest doing a time code burn-in, which you can do by going into your export media window and effects, time code overlay, and you'll have that burned in. Uh, when you're doing that as well, make sure that you also have the two pop in your reference video, both audio and the visual two pop for the reference video. And that's how you make your audio mix or your audio project for your mixer.